Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for spending time with me. Welcome to Just Cook DC Copper Fried Fish. I get this question a lot. How do I make the perfect fried fish? My fish disintegrates, my fish doesn't conform, I want to cook it. It's just something happens. Uh, fried fish is not that tricky to make if you follow two simple rules. Just two. I'm using tilapia. You could use a snapper, different kinds of snappers out there, red, yellow tail, cream tail, uh, snappers, whatever. Uh, I'm using tilapia. Um, I like the taste of tilapia. The two things you gotta do is the fish has to be completely dry. And your oil has to be hot. Dry fish, hot oil, follow my lead, perfect fried fish. Let's cook. All right, folks, you're going to start with a clean fish, uh, tilapia. I'm just going to trim some of these fins. Uh, not too much trimming on this one. Uh, just clean it out a little bit. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll start with the whole fish. I'm using a tilapia. Beautiful fish. And then uh, I'm going to measure. I'm going to cut it down. You can cook a whole fish if you want to, but I find it easier to fry uh fish in pieces so if you're having trouble with fried fish I'd suggest you cut this as opposed to a whole one especially if you don't have a big enough uh, container to fit a whole fish so this is about a pound and a half fish so yeah cut it into three that looks good uh, yeah. trim that out a little bit that's all right that's good All right, grab a paper towel and you want to dry the fish. Two things that will mess up fried fish. Wet fish and oil that is not hot enough. So get some paper towels. Make sure your fish is dry. Um, yeah, I can't stress that enough. Just dry the fish, set it aside. All right, keep moving here. That should do it. I'm gonna put a couple slits down so it cooks evenly through. Uh, yeah, the thick parts of that. Just a young slit. Don't go through all the bone. Just a little slit. I should do it. All right. Next thing: salt and pepper. You can go to town on this, folks. You can ginger, ginger powder, onion powder, garlic powder, turmeric, hot chili salt. Whatever you want. I'm gonna keep this very simple, the salt and pepper. Uh, I love the taste of tilapia in its essence. I don't wanna mess it up too much, so just keep it simple. Flip it around, salt and pepper on the other side. Uh, that should do it. Now, let it sit room temperature for about 10 minutes or so before you fry it. What happens is the salt draws moisture out of the fish. Uh, so it's another a form of drying the fish. I cannot stress this enough. Your fish needs to be dry. In the meantime, make sure your oil is hot enough. So I set in my oil. All right, this should do it. Let's fry some fish. All right, let's go. Uh, put our fish in the hot oil. You want your oil to be at about 350. 50 to 375 uh, degrees. Um, this is you want hot oil. Hot oil, dry fish. That's the two key to uh, perfectly fried fish. I'm gonna hit there about the size. About the size there. Uh, it's gonna take about 10 minutes. Um, flip it around the other side. But yeah, fry this for about 10 minutes. Maybe after five minutes, flip it around. Don't check it. Don't mess it. Let the fish. It's good, just let it be, let it go. Yeah, let it sit. So it's been about five minutes on this side, so I'm gonna flip it around. I'm deep frying, so really flipping around doesn't do much for my hand, but we'll flip it anyway. Um, yeah, and then make sure we have a total of about 10 minutes to 12 minutes. I'll keep checking it, and uh, we should have a perfectly fried fish. 
All right, this babies look done. Take them out on a wire rack. Now, the reason why you want a wire rack is you don't want the oil to saturate. You want this to drain out and drain the oil. Uh, don't put it on a plate. It's just going to get soggy at the bottom. So, just wire rack, drain them out, and serve your fish. Beautiful. Mm. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Subscribe, mm. like, share, comment. Fried fish. My way. Perfectly fried fish. Mm.